Welcome everyone to this talk and demo on container best practices with Amazon ECS Lens. My name is Maya Nishitani, a Senior Solutions Architect at Amazon Web Services. Today we'll be diving into how to get started with the Amazon ECS Lens for implementing container best practices for Amazon Elastic Container Services. Before we start talking about the Amazon ECS Lens, I want to level set what the well-architected framework and the well-architected tool is all about. AWS well-architected framework helps organizations build secure, high-performing, resilient, and efficient infrastructure for a variety of applications and workloads. It's built around six pillars, operational excellence, security, reliability, performance efficiency, cost optimization, and sustainability. AWS Well Architecture provides a consistent approach for you to evaluate architectures and implement scalable designs. Available in the AWS Management Console, the AWS Well Architecture tool helps you evaluate your cloud architecture and implement designs that will scale over time through a question and answer format. The AWS Well Architecture tool is designed to help you review the state of your applications and workloads against architectural best practices and identify opportunities for improvement and track progress over time. A custom lens is a collection of questions, best practices, notes and improvement plans that can be added to a workload. The Amazon ECS Lens is a custom tool that you can import into the AWS Well Architected tool. This lens covers many of the most important operational best practices for Amazon ECS. It explains multiple core concepts around how ECS based applications work. The goal is to provide a concrete and actionable approach for operating and troubleshooting Amazon ECS-based applications. The ECS Lens evaluates multiple areas of your workload to make sure it aligns with ECS best practices and covers a vast range of categories such as running your applications with Amazon ECS and how to handle errors, versioning your container images and building container images with best practices in mind. How to incorporate network and storage best practices into your ECS workload. How to handle auto scaling of your container workload and ensuring there's enough capacity available for your containers. How to improve speed of launching your ECS tasks and deployments. And how to operate ECS at scale and securely run your workloads. Let's see the Amazon ECS Lens in action with a demo by my fellow solutions architect, Jake Rappinett. Hi all, I'm Jake Rappinett, a solution architect here at AWS. For the first part of the demo, we're going to be looking at how to import the ECS custom lens into the well architected tool and start your first architecture review. So firstly, to get started, head over to our GitHub page, in particular, the Amazon ECS custom lens page, and download the lens, which is a JSON file. Once you've got that, you can head over to the Well Architected tool, which is within the AWS console, and navigate to the Custom Lenses tab, then click Create a Custom Lens, which will allow you to upload the lens fi file. Once you've uploaded the lens, which in this case I've pre-uploaded, you can press Submit, and what uh, now you just need to publish the lens so that you can actually use it. When publishing the lens, you'll need to give it a version number, which we'll set to 1.0 in this example. And you'll just press the publish button and now you can use it in your architecture reviews. Now we'll head over to the workloads tab and we'll create our first architecture workload review through pressing the define workload button. Now for this demo we're going to pretend that we're reviewing a production workload in Sydney and we'll define some values here uh, to represent that and you can skip all the optional entries.
Now we can also skip the profile section as that is optional. But very importantly, once we get to the lenses section, we want to select the lens that we're going to use for the demo, uh, that we want to use for review. So then in this case, it is the Amazon ECS lens. Now select that and press uh, define workload. Now once the workload's created, what we're going to do is we'll press the item on the left, the Amazon ECS lens, to switch to the ECS workload that we want to review. And then we'll click continue reviewing. Now as Mike covered during the presentation earlier, we have seven categories that contain 36 questions all up which evaluate different areas of your workload and how they align with ECS best practices. As you go through the questions, you'll have a mixture of two question types. Ones where you can pick multiple answers to represent your workload, and ones where you need to pick, the one, an pick one answer that best represents your workload. For example, on screen now, you can see a question where there's multiple uh, response types. You can click the one that best represents the workload here and, and in terms of how you're making your com container images complete and static versus this one here where you're going to pick the most appropriate uh, response that represents your workload and how you connect services from inside your VPC to AWS, whether it be NAT Gateway or using Private Link or neither of these. If you come across a question, that does not apply to your workload. For example, how do you handle networking across AWS accounts and VPCs? You can simply press the question does not apply to this workload button to have it excluded from your report. If you need any more information about a particular question, you can click the little info buttons that are next to each of the responses, which will open up a little side tab with more information links that you can click to go to a white paper that explains these in more detail. For the second part of the demo, we'll be looking at the improvement plan, which is generated once you complete all 36 questions in the ECS lens across the seven categories. In the improvement plan, you can see a distribution of your high and medium risk items that were identified as you completed the review and how those risks are distributed across the categories. If you click the Improvement Plan tab, you can go into a particular risk and see the remediation steps that are required to help you better align your workload with the ECS best practices. If you click on the title, it will also take you to that question that you answered earlier during the review process. And you can see how you answered it and for the items that you didn't answer, how those align with the ECS best practices. As we mentioned earlier in the demo, to access the lens, you can go to our AWS GitHub samples repository where the custom lens will be available or you can scan this QR code. Thank you very much for watching our lightning talk today and if you have any questions please feel free to reach out to your AWS account teams and they'll be able to help guide you uh, with, on your containers journey.